Hi, in this video, we're going to go over something that I discovered with relation to the iPhone 7 and its latest iOS 11 beta release. So it seems that the NFC interface on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus varies from model number to model number. So what I've found is that some models don't behave as well as others and they don't read tags as effectively as others. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I've measured that and to see, you know, if you've seen the same behavior and how we can kind of figure out how to solve this. So what I'll do is I've written a simple application and what it does is it just wakes up the NFC transceiver. And so as soon as I launch it, it's going to start pulling for tags and I'll turn all of these on. And uh, as soon as I place the tag on this one or this one, it's not reading the tag, right? Whereas on this third one, it reads it right away. So it was weird to me, like, why is it that it behaves well on one iPhone, but it doesn't behave well on the others, even though this is an iPhone 7 Plus, and this is another iPhone 7, very much like this one. Um, and using this magnetic flux tool, I can see how the field is behaving on the NFC radio. So for instance, if I start this one up again, place this, you know, this measuring tool on top of it, it indicates, you know, 1.5 amps per meter of magnetic flux being pulsed out, you know, pretty much twice a second. Um, on these other ones, you'll see that it basically pulses out once every few seconds. And that's part of the reason there's, there's some sort of, uh, sensitivity that the, uh, that the NFC radio is, is, is having trouble with. And so when I first launch to pull for tags, you see that it blips pretty quickly there for four seconds or for two seconds, rather, um, four times, right? And there it goes again. So there actually, when it's pulsing like that, you, you would read a tag, but if, so if I was to put this here now, uh, no, it went away. So if I leave this up oh, there, it read it. So it's basically doing some kind of like active uh, polling or some sort of smart polling. Um, but it seems to malfunction at times, giving you the, the feel that it's not reading the tag. So again, over here, again, no activity. But if I leave the card there, you know, for, for some time, sometimes it just wakes up and is able to, to detect the tag. So for instance, uh, if we just leave that there and keep waiting, you might find that, that it'll, it'll detect the tag right there. So it's almost like it's doing some, some active polling. Uh, and it's a behavior that, that really uh, makes for the user experience, uh, to be poor. Um, if you, you know, if you just kind of start pulling, it's, it'll get it right away because that's right at the beginning during those four brief pulses. Uh, but if you let it sit for like five seconds and then try, it's almost like it's not reading it. And that's the same behavior that, you know, here it'll read it if you put it right off the bat, right off the bat. But if you wait a few seconds and then try, it doesn't respond. Whereas this model, model MN8H2LL slash A, it's always polling. So if I wait four, five, six, seven seconds, it still will get it right away. So the, the, you know, the model numbers uh, for the iPhone 7 Plus that, that have had issues that we found is MNQM2ZDA and MN8X2CI slash A. We'd love to get your feedback. Please post in the comment section below if you're seeing the same result. I would say uh, the sample app is pretty simple to build, uh, but if you want the code, you can, you can uh, send, send me a note as well uh, in the notes section. Um, and, and we can send you a version for you to try this out uh, with some tags of your own and see if we can uh, 
get a bug report to Apple to solve it. Thanks a lot.